Well, there's another interesting issue about extra dimensions, and that is the following. And it comes from the idea of string theory. You know, string theory is a theory that tries to unite gravity and, and, and quantum theory. And of course, uh, at the very highest energies, because energy has gravitational uh, pull to it, at the very highest energies, you get extremely strong gravitational forces on small objects. And therefore, the quantum world then enters into this, into, into gravitation, and you have the combination of gravity and, and um, quantum theory. Now, the interesting thing about string theory is that all viable theories seem to have extra spatial dimensions. Uh, most theories have six extra dimensions, which is, of course, extremely interesting because you say, well, look at we only have three dimensions. We only observe three. So where are the other six? And so in string theory, they are rolled up into extremely small regions of the order of 10 to the minus 32 centimeters, which is incredibly small. You know, it's 15 orders of magnitude smaller than the upper limit of the size of the quark, which is quite small in itself. So these things are rolled up. But there have been some formulations and some ideas which said, well, maybe some of these dimensions actually extend out further in space. And it turns out that if some of these dimensions extended out to about 10 to the minus 18 centimeters or so, the LHC would be able to see the effects of these extra dimensions. And that would be an extremely interesting result to think that actually there are, we have seen the effects of extra dimensions in our physics.